Hello, family. This is your more holistic, your vegan goddess. I hope everybody's doing great today. I'm doing fantastic. What you're looking at now here is a Dorset Gold apple tree. Yes, that's right, an apple tree. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. That's what I always say. That's why I wanted to do the honors of doing something to make my contribution to the earth and plant a tree, fr plant fruit trees. And hopefully you see all this space here. If it is the will of the great mother and the ancestors and the great uh, team, Aset and Asar, and on and on, you know. Uh, yeah, if they, the great infinite source from which we come decides that I need this whole place gonna be full of trees, it will be full of trees. So this is gonna be apple. They say it takes like two years. And that's great. So the day is, uh, I believe it's uh, June the 28th, 2022. I believe that's what the day's date is. I didn't check the moon, but anyways, I planted it was probably around about <clears throat> five o'clock. There you can see my beautiful golden uh, doodle. He's a midnight dog. His name is uh, um, Anpu. That's the African name. Or And then the Greek name will be Anubis. You know, everybody been taking over our culture and renaming stuff. They always do that, right? <laughs> but anyways, when you're the best and you're the first and the greatest, what do you expect? You're gonna have copycats. But anyways, maybe everybody will start copying me and uh, planting trees. I'm sure people plant trees everywhere. But I thought I would just get in on this. I said, wow, you know, and I saw some lemon trees out there and I saw a uh, papayas tree. What other tree did I see? Yeah, peach tree. <laughs> papaya, peach, and another apple. So now I have to get another apple for this one to pollinate with. I believe it's the Anna, Anna apple. And anyways, you can find some pears and whatnot. So I'm on a tree hunt. And uh, yeah, so it's pretty nice. I dug a big hole, you know, wide enough for it to fit in there. Actually, I didn't have to dig too hard or work too hard because this was an avocado planted here previously years ago. And then somehow somebody pulled it up and destroyed the uh, avocado plant. Well, that's another story. We're not gonna get into no negative stories. But anyways, I dig this big, big deep hole and measured it up and everything. And once I was, a uh, hole was dug, I put some uh, organic uh, compost in there and filled it up a little bit, not a lot, and then mixed the dirt in there. And Texas dirt is really clay. You see how clay it is? It's like clay, it's just like clay. Yeah, it's kind of so clay. But yeah, this is my uh, gold, uh, a Dorset gold. It's so pretty. Look at the leaves, man. I'm looking at it. See that? Maybe that's a bud. I think that's a bud. Or maybe that's just some more leaves. But I didn't ask her how old the tree was. But anyways, you know when you get the, go to the, uh, the big um, chain home garden things. Uh, well, I guess I, guess I could have. Uh, but I was just in a hurry, ready to go. But anyways, I don't know how long it's gonna take. Maybe it'll take two years, maybe it'll take less, but I should have planted in the fall. However, I wasn't a fruitarian <laughs> in the fall. I was still vegan and eating raw and vegetables and kale and stuff. But now, since I've gone 100% fruitarian, and like I said, I have good days and bad days, but so far it's been pretty good. Uh, I was losing weight. Uh, a little bit, but I really, my weight has stabilized. I weigh about 164. It was down to 162, went down to 159. See, that's the thing, I have to stay off the scale because once I start getting on the scale, uh, you know, I start eating more stuff because I say I'm losing. Oh, here. So anyways, this is what it looks like. Over there, I used to have, um, uh, what you call them? Raised beds, uh, but something's growing here. I don't know if, what it is. I don't know if it's a weed or not, because I planted some herbs here once a while back. And I don't know if this is an herb or not, if it's just a straight up weed. It might just be a weed, you know what I'm saying? If anybody knows, can you tell me? I think it's a weed. I'm not sure. And uh, anyways, I could dig all this out. Maybe I will. But it was nice. I used to plant collard greens in here. And uh, I'm trying to think what else was in here. Uh, I can't remember. It's been a while back. I kind of forgot about that one, but I don't want nobody to tear it down. 
maybe I'll be ambitious one day and uh, clear all that stuff out and start out over again. But now I'm not so much into gardens as I'm much as I'm into trees now. That should be pretty good. But think about trees, you have to be, uh, and it's gonna be fruit trees so that I can eat from them and get my own organic fruit. And it's not coming from another state or another across the world or from out of space somewhere. <laughs> It's coming straight from my backyard and then it's gonna teach me patience. And you know, the trees are so wonderful. They form a canopy and, and keep the earth cool and stuff. Unfortunately, people that huh, like to dominate and rule and, and, and oppress everything are cutting down rainforests and everything so they can grow more beef. So they can graze you know, and, and plant more soybeans and corn. And uh, what's the other one they eat? Soybeans, corn. I can't think of the other one and to feed it all to the cattle and uh, not to the people. But anyways, I can do my little small bit of magic, my small bit of a miracle, you could say, or my small bit of, uh, you know, determination, whatever, just a little bit, and make a difference in the world and plant a tree. Maybe you'll do that too. But anyways, I wish you well, peace and blessings, stay positive, have a bunch of, uh, positive self-talk and enjoy yourself no matter what happens no matter what no matter what because i know sometimes it can be really difficult to do that but remember we don't die we multiply so i that's all i have to say to y'all today i want to thank all my new subscribers for subscribing to more holistic your vegan goddess and i do appreciate you taking the time out of your busy days uh to, uh, to tune in see hear what i have to say I really, really appreciate it. I thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you once again. Uh, and big smiles, hugs, and kisses to everybody. And everybody, keep your head up. No need to feel depressed. Because uh, with a lot of determination and positive thinking and positive self-talk and uh, prayer, meditation, read your holy books. Now, the one I read is the book of Coming Forth by Day because that's the oldest book around and every all the other religions are based on that or are like duplicates of that or they plagiarize that so that's what i do i've been doing that for a while and anyways uh yeah see how pretty and green that is that's what i say the green goddess tell me there's not a goddess look at that tell me that this is the tree of life you can talk about the tree of life all you want uh you know on a what do you say on a um intellectual or physical Fisolophical, Fisolo, Sophia Lophical. Daggone it. It's Sophia, the goddess Sophia is in there. In that word means wisdom. Fisolophical, Fisolophical, Sophical, like Sophia, who is the black goddess in another version, way on down the line. Okay, y'all. Well, Enjoy your apples and oranges. Oh, yeah, I'm going to plant that. Get that lemon tree and a papaya tree and, yeah, and fill it, maybe fill up this whole backyard. And as the old folks used to say a long time ago, law spell, nothing happened to me. I can uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> pick from the fruits of the good tree. <laughs> and my dog's over there chewing on something. Well, he's not my dog. He's... He belongs to the to the earth, and then, but he he chose to show up in my life when he did, cause I didn't buy him. He was gifted to me by very nice people. Anyways, uh, I've been working on training him. I got my little clicker, and you know it's kind of working good with the little treats. Yeah, I got this book, so it's, cause I don't feel like paying nobody one hundred fifty dollars. I'm cheap, but I can do it. I said if they can do it, I can do it too. But if it comes down to it, I might have to go to them. But I, hopefully I won't have to do that. But anyhow, I hope all of you are doing well. Thanks for tuning in. And once again, I'm tuning out. Stay fruity and tooty. Eat your sweet vegetables. I mean, uh, fruits, 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 fruits. Fruits are number one. Okay? Thank you very much. Peace. But you have to fight for it, though. Uh... That was said by Fred Hampton. Okay. There's a close-up of it. I'll give you a close-up of all the, the leaves. 
how beautiful they are how nice i prayed over that nobody destroys it no wind comes along and knocks it down or nothing like that no disease i'm gonna be looking up all the stuff how to take care of it and all if you guys have any suggestions let me know in the comments thank you so much for tuning in